Oh, we're gonna crash! Oh no, he's gonna go over the side of the mountain! <laughs> Alright guys, hello and welcome to another race video. So we're kind of travelling back in time today to the 1983 historical layout of the Mount Panorama Bathurst circuit. But we're going to tackle it today in a modern GT3 car just to see exactly what it would be like if a real life race in a modern GT3 car had been held back in time in 1983. Now I was born in 1984, I actually remember this layout of the circuit, it changed, uh, they changed and added the uh, the chase in in 1987 from memory, I believe. You can see it's actually a straight shot all the way up to what's generally known as the Dunlop Ridge just there. So it'll be really interesting to see what kind of top speeds we reach down Conrad straight today without the chase and just generally what kind of carnage could be created. I mean, already you can see the safety standards are pretty much non-existent. Spectators just standing right next to the track there. You can imagine what would happen if a car went off the circuit. That is absolutely wild. We're going to say a big thank you as well to ACSX Sim Sports for sponsoring today's video. We're running their Invicta pedals on the rig right now. And if you're interested in more information on ACSX Sim Sports, check out the links down in the description below. Let's get underway here. Starting fourth on the grid. Look how basic all the circuit is. Look how basic the pits are as well. Basically nothing there at all. <laughs> down into second gear. I've only just done that outlap now, so I'm not familiar with the layout or where the braking markers are going to be at all. Most of the layout looks pretty similar, but I think the markers are going to be a little bit different. We've still got that little road there, but it's dirt road back then. So we get through here in third gear. How wide can we go though? We don't have the runoff over here like we used to have, or like we do now, I should say. I'm getting mixed up with my time scales here. <laughs> Look at the old sponsorship as well. What can we see? Repo. <laughs> Man, this is bringing back some memories. Mobile One Rover. Wow, I had a Rover lawnmower, I think it was. <laughs> Rover engine on the lawnmower, maybe? I can't remember. <laughs> Rover is not a... It's, they made cars, of course, but not a brand. SO there as well. <laughs> That's wild. All right. So, oh, a bit of dust there. No bridge there now. And look at that, look at that wild the corners are, that's nuts! You got no, like there's no barrier there at all. If you got up on that, it would just launch the car over the side of the mountain. <laughs> Valvoline, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now there used to be a, uh, a gold mine just there as well. I remember panning for gold as a kid on the right hand side there, but I'm starting to get left behind here by these guys in front, so we better pick up the pace a little bit here, I think. I'm too busy sightseeing. <laughs> Let's tuck in behind the uh, BMW here. Six gear, how fast are we going? 270. Look at this crowd though. Imagine if a car launched into that crowd. 280 under the Dunlop Bridge. Onto the brakes. All right, that's where we're braking. Whoa, not that, that's not where that guy's braking. Jeez. Oh, we got a little minor contact there. All right, we really need to pick up the pace here. We've only got five laps. See if we can sneak back down the inside here. Oh, a little hot in the corner, I know we're alright. Oh, a little bit of a rub there, okay. Fizzy. <laughs> oh man, this is wild, but just the sheer lack of safety measures around the circuit is insane. I mean, I know I'm getting old, but <laughs> 1987 doesn't seem like that long ago. I don't know whether they increased the uh, safety between 1983 when this layout is based on and uh, 1987 when they added the chase in. Fosters, <laughs> instead of Fosters, can't advertise to alcohol, I suppose, in a game. I remember the Fosters Australian Motorcycle Grand Prix is one of my favourite childhood memories. Fosters are still around in Australia. Not generally regarded as a uh, quality lager by most people, but it's kind of in the same category as VB and Forex, I think. I'm probably going to get roasted in the comments for saying that, but oh well. <laughs> All right, we're starting to reel these guys in again. But look, imagine, imagine if you hit that corner there. Imagine if you hit that. You would just be launched over the mountain. We might have to try that on the uh, on the inlap, I think. <laughs> See what happens. All right, let's pull it up, get it turned in. Even just there. I mean, it just seems so obvious to have some barriers. 
And even these things. Like, what are they going to do? That farmstead is still there. At least it was last time I was at Bathurst, which was a number of years ago now. Might have to try and get out there for the next uh, 24 hour, I think, or maybe the, uh, the Bathurst 1000 later this year. Now, how are our lap times looking? The uh, official lap record from this layout, from what I understand, was the high two minutes. 209, I think it was. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments. Whoa! I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments, but the current lap record with the with the chase on the circuit is uh, a 159. Obviously, we're not going to be anywhere near that. I didn't actually see what that last lap time was. Let's uh, we'll pay attention when we go across the line this time. Can we get up the inside of him? Oh, understeer! Come on, come on, come on! There's no runoff there. <laughs> Oh, old mate in the BMW is back again. Oh, big cloud on the wall there. One thinking about sending it up the inside there too. Oh, come on. Nah, not going to do that. Not going to do that. <laughs> I've learned my lesson about trying to overtake there from uh, previous races on the modern layout. We'll get him down through Skyline maybe, or maybe not, he's catching up fast, whoa we're going to crash, oh no he's going to go over the side of the mountain, <laughs> I think the barrier caught him, oh that wasn't me, wasn't me, <laughs> it'll probably be me on the next lap but alright, bit of wheel spin on the exit again, Alright, we're paying attention to our lap time this time. See how much faster we are than the lap record. The lap record was set in a, uh, some sort of, it was an open wheeler. I can't remember the name of the car now. But it was an open wheeler back in the, I think it was the early 70s. It was a 209 on this layout. These guys are going at it. Far out. Whoa, not too wide. Come on. Cover off the inside line here. Oh, I missed my lap time again. <laughs> I was too busy paying attention to not crashing. We'll catch it on this lap. You guys might have seen it. I'm guessing it's probably low two minutes. I don't think we're going to be anywhere near the uh, modern day lap record with my driving skills with an unfamiliar lap, but you definitely, you can't carry as much speed as you can on the modern circuit because you just don't have those extensions on the circuit. This could get sketchy. Oh, up the inside, come on. Watch out, McLaren. Come on, buddy. All right. It really is nostalgic though. I mean, for anybody who grew up in the 80s and 90s watching Bathurst, this is very cool. Oh, I can feel my tires going off. I've been overdriving the car again, I think. All right, we've got a bit of a gap behind at least now. Definitely not going to be as fast as my previous laps, I don't think. It's starting to cloud over a little bit now, too, I can see. It's starting to get a little bit more gloomy. It does tend to happen of an afternoon out in Bathurst to get the uh, storm clouds rolling in. Look at this, though. It's absolutely insane. That's like the most dangerous thing a human can do is standing there. <laughs> They're in way more danger than the drivers are. All right, what was that lap time? Oh, I missed it again. We'll catch it on the we'll catch it on the final lap. Well, we'll see it when we when we pull in anyway. I think I saw some James Hardy advertising as well. That's a brand you don't see very often anymore. I remember. Oh, it must have been in the late '80s. They uh, 
they were one of the pioneers of asbestos free building materials because they had a there was a big court case if i remember correctly a lot of people that were injured or killed by um, asbestos products and i'm pretty sure it was james hardy that was involved with that somehow but <laughs> i don't want to say the wrong thing and get in trouble but i do remember there was a big uh, there was some big court case involving james hardy you just don't really see that name floating around these days much anymore but it used to be everywhere i remember when i was a kid and they've done such a good job of just capturing the even just the way that the, t the color tones seem a little bit more dull than the modern version of the layout maybe i'm just imagining things but it really kind of gives that nostalgic feel to the circuit and the old advertising as well i don't think we're going to catch this guy but we'll give it our best shot down the straight here get on the power nice and early all right and big digger beside the circuit there One minute 40, 260 kilometers an hour. I think that the, the all-time speed record is around 320, 325 kilometers an hour for this circuit, maybe? I can't remember what kind of car that was, though. Oh, too hot, too hot, too hot, too hot, turn. <laughs> 159, two minute, 201. Okay, 201.5. 20, Not bad. <laughs> all right so i haven't forgotten i did promise that we would launch the car coming down through the s's so let's go ahead and do that now we're going to launch it right here let's go ready <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh my god oh that would be 100 percent over that fence jeez <laughs> oh we've got a nice view at least <laughs> What a, what a lovely way to end the video. So there you go, guys. That's what a modern day GT3 race might look like if it was being held at the 1983 historic layout of uh, Bathurst. So there you go, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this beautiful view. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.